Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Keep Gaming Podcast. This is episode two, and today I have a guest with me named Miyamo CG, but I call him CeeLo Chris by mistake, and it just stood. So here we are. Chris, what is up? Welcome to the podcast. The second time you're here, but the first time it was a different podcast, but we're now Keep Gaming Podcast episode two. Welcome. How is everybody doing, ladies and gentlemen? I am Miyamo CG, part-time Twitch streamer. You know the vibes. Let's get to it, baby. <laughs> When you say part time, what is it that you mean? You just you clock in for ten hours a week and that's it. That's it. It's a part time <laughs> job, bro. You know. <laughs> yeah. So real quick, Chris. Yes, Chris is a is a part time streamer. He put me on. Well, not really put me on. I, I'm gonna for those that are watching, and I know someone's gonna be watching. My boy Johnny Boombot <laughs> said, "Yo, Lou, I got a game for you called It Takes Two. I watched the trailer. I said, Nah, it doesn't interest me." A day later, Chris hits me. I'm like, yo, Lou, I got a game for you. I was like, you know what, boy, talking about, I'll give it a try. And that caused some problems. But anyway, we played this game. It's, it takes two, made by developers EA. And they actually made a game prior to this called A Way Out. It's kind of the same thing. It's a split screen, part uh, player one, player two on the same screen, but it's uh, you know divided in the middle. And you have to do different tasks to complete each level. And it takes two. You can look up the trailer. It was something that I didn't think was going to be fun. And at the end, when the credits rolled, I said to myself, this is probably the best game of 2021. Chris, what were your initial thoughts when you first saw the trailer and then going into the game and loading it up? Initial thoughts. As soon as I saw the trailer, I'm like, I'm going to love it. So I'm going to spend my money on it. And I already knew how it worked because of A Way Out. I played that game with one of my friends as well. Only one person has to buy it. That's a that's a great part. And if only one person has to buy it, if you want to play with your friends, guess what? You guys can split it 2020 down even. Mm -hmm. Good to go, you know? Um, but the trailer, I, a way out was more of a realistic kind of a game. So when I saw this and it was more like fantasy uh driven, mm -hmm. I already knew I was gonna like it, man. It's mm -hmm. it, it looked beautiful and it and uh the gameplay looked great from the trailer, you know. So yeah, and I once I turned that game on, it was just like oh. This is it, baby. It's it. I never played a game like this. For me, trying something like this, I thought maybe I'm not going to like this because I, I like playing first-person shooters and I want to stick to that genre kind of thing. But I do enjoy platformers such as Mario. And this kind of gives that vibe. And to me, I said, I got to give this a try, right? I mean, if everyone's talking about it, it may be that good. So we pop in the game, and from the beginning, bro, I was a really, I was I, in my mind. I said, "This is amazing." And the great part about this EA, and this I think is gonna be revolutionary. I don't know if other developers have done this, where you give the opportunity for one person to buy it, and your friend gets a code to play with you for free. You do not have to have the same game. Where all multiplayer,s you have to have the game to play, and you have to purchase it. And and I think this is great. I mean, more developers should do this. I mean, they probably lose money, but I think it's great. I, I really do. Because I was iffy about it. What if I said, nah, that game is trash. But if you said, yo, it's free, try it with me. Right. You're going to have more people like, you know what? Maybe I should. It's free. Which is basically what happened. I mean, I was yeah. like, I bought it. I was like, listen, I just got to, you can download the friend pass thing on the uh, on the app. And you were good to go. You and, know, you didn't have to spend a dime. And crazy, <laughs> yo, not one lag in this game where we were on the same page doing the same thing, different tasks. But we were able to really come together in the game, which you have to, to complete the levels with no hiccups. I, and I thought that was incredible, too. Like, there was no interruptions whatsoever. Fact, granted, I mean, Lou kept dying a bunch of times, but it's okay. You know, that's just, that's part of his thing as a streamer, you know? Yo, <laughs> this is facts. Yo, I couldn't stay alive for my life. Like, that's crazy, right? I couldn't stay alive for my life. If my life depended on it, I would have died. I, <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, Yo, Chris was always ahead. He was the fastest. He didn't die as much. He knew the puzzle. I was just there for the ride, bro. Chris had the shit <laughs> unlocked from the beginning. And there was a couple things I'm like, okay, we got to do this. And you're like, you know what, Lou? That was good. And then other than that, yo, I was just like, what do we do, Chris? Where do we go? Listen, you puzzle control. games are my forte. I love yo. puzzles. That's what, that's the one thing I really liked about this game yeah. over A Way Out. The puzzles were more intricate and you really had to like work for it. I remember, I know like, like, I think it was the third stream where we had a bunch of puzzles that took longer than we thought it would have. We were just really trying to figure it out. I love that though. I love the yeah. challenge of making your brain work and just doing it. And then they also had the mini games 
throughout the entire story where you can just run up to it and boom, you're in a a different world, you know? Bro, the mini games, I'll tell you this. The game itself is beautiful, right? It looks good. It feels good. It moves well. The mechanics are done well. Even in each level, they give you something like a refresher course. Like, let's say the first level, you get a gun. The second level, you get a camera. The third level, you get wings. Like, you're always doing, it doesn't repeat itself, which keeps it fresh every time. But what keeps it even more entertaining, where you could just take a way step away from the game and play these mini games. We played chess. We played, um, I don't know, uh, like these uh, old Gallagher games, uh, uh, yep. batting practice. It was just, yo, so many different side games, mini games that you could get lost in that snowball fights. Yo, you get lost in the mini games. It's like, okay, let's go back to the game now. Let's finish this. We did four episodes were about three and a half hours each episode. The game took us, what, 12 hours? Just about. It could have went longer if we stood playing the mini games because they were so yeah. fun. The level, yeah. the 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 levels, each level you're into gives you a different mini game. And it's just it's just time for you and your friends just to have fun, get away from just it's trying a to friendly like competition. Game. Oh, a I lost friendly a lot. competition too. I lost it, a it lot. Was... <laughs> Yo, there was a volleyball one that I actually thought this time I'm gonna win. That the volleyball one, yo, I couldn't fucking hit the ball for the life of I couldn't do that... nothing. I think that was the hardest mini game. Yo, I almost beat Personally. you a chess though, and I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> <laughs> yo, his mom Man. was on stream. It was like, yo, your dad loves chess. And then Chris tells me the story where he was a professional chess player. I'm like, hey, that was that was a part of the plan because I saw the time limit and Luke didn't. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. So he know. ran out of time. Just listening to me talk. Yo, he got me on the time limit, bro, because I'm like, I'm telling Chris what I think his next moves are. Like, I'm going to go here, you're going to go there, and it's my turn, and I'm going to lose because I keep telling my moves, not realizing there's a clock there. I'm thinking this is just like a regular game. Oh, man. Yo, he's he's got to get his socks knocked off, bro. I was going to win if it wasn't for the time. Well, yeah, like three minutes left. (laughs) Yeah. Oh man, that was good. Yo, Chris just let that me was talk, bro. Stuff. And everything. Hey, listen. <laughs> everything, yo, everything. He beat me in almost everything. I think it was probably like one or two games that I won, but every game nah, he I think the me. second episode, you you beat me like four times out of the five mini games that we played. Really? That, that I believe so. I, or at least you at least won three that one. I remember that. That's right. I was yeah, having I a bad really. one. <laughs> I don't remember, <laughs> but I'm gonna take credit for it because yo, every yo on stream, I was just getting, I was getting embarrassed live on Twitch, man. It was just it. <laughs> the one thing that I will say about this game too, right? Um, even my wife, she, I was showing her some clips and she said this is hilarious. It was the one where, uh, and of course it's not really major spoilers. You're gonna see this anyway. I'm the game. Right. It's not like a big story. It's just we'll get into the story too, but it's not a it's big a good reveal. Story. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a puzzle where we had to like get the cheese for the mouse <laughs> and like we had to balance the ball and yo <laughs> he's telling oh, you there's a lot of times one. in the game chris would just troll me like oh go over here and then i die he just starts laughing like really <laughs> like 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 lift me up and he don't lift me up and then i die or give me the ledge he doesn't give me the ledge he crushes me and i'm trusting him like we have a friendship here i'm like oh, we're working together on this and he just you just kill me in my mind i'm thinking we're in this together no for chris it was like i need to get him every time it, it was it was hey, hilarious. it's a part of my thing with me and you on twitch especially <laughs> I always have to troll. I'm always in your chat trolling. All the time. So I figured if we're playing the game, I'm a troll. I have to a little bit. Yo, he know? lies. He, he <laughs> lies so much. It's like, well, I'm, this is a different conversation, but I'll be playing the game and he'll be like, yo, there's like five more levels of Meanwhile, it's like only two. I'm like, damn, I, I got so much to do. And he's like, I never even played this game. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> it's great. The one but, thing, though, that I do like uh, that this game did was they paid homage or homage, however you like pronouncing it, mm-hmm. to a lot of different things. Like, one of my favorites mm-hmm. was um, after we got out the tree mm-hmm. that I had to fight the squirrel, and it was like Street Fighter. He hit me with a Hadouken. Oh, and a, that was sick. That was awesome. Yo. It was awesome. <laughs> that, yo. You know, but like little stuff like that, they yeah. even had like the little Easter egg to the A Way Out game yeah. that they mm-hmm. created as well. All that kind of stuff and just like little little details that they put into the game as far as uh, inanimate objects coming to life or objects that are or things that are alive that have a personality like the the wasp and the 
and the squirrels and all the other animals and stuff. It was it was awesome. Or even the book. Yeah. The book is right. Is, the book. Yo, the book is the best supporting actor in this move in this video game, bro. <laughs> Yeah, right. Because he's one of those characters that you love to hate because he is annoying throughout. Yeah. yeah. But then in the last chapter, he became something else. Like you you were kind of like, okay, I yeah. see what his point was. This made so much sense as far as the broader story of the of the entire game. Correct. And it just all it made too much sense where it was like, oh, this is great. This is this is the way it's supposed to be, you know. And, and the thing is, like his his accent was very dramatic, dragged out. Like he had like a Spanish. <laughs> he had a... <laughs> Yo, there's a part in the game right where he curses for the first time. Nobody really curses in this game, right? So it, you kind of get the feeling this is a kids' game, but it's really not. Um, no. But he goes, "You gotta fix your relationship." And the guy, the character goes, "What'd you say?" He said, "Relationship, like caca." And I'm like. <laughs> Yo, that lost me, bro. So good. <laughs> so well, I mean, good. The voice acting for the book was amazing. It was it, right. it was called the Book of Love, and it, it was just yo, it was hilarious. You know, they always say like Spanish is like a language of love. It's kind of like uh-huh. you know, sexy or whatever. So they made the character super like yeah. stereotypical Spanish movie yeah. guy, <laughs> that Rico Suave type stuff. It was, it was great. Yeah, and I think also too with with the other characters, right? Because each level they kind of give you like kind of like the teddy bear or um the elephant, where elephant. It, yo it was so dramatic, like like yeah, we were murdering you. the elephant, <laughs> the, the yo we're ripping the legs apart, the ear, yo you kind of felt bad for the elephant at one point. You're like, damn, do I really want to oh. do this? And then what made it worse was that whole mission was for nothing. For nothing. What, what they thought was going to happen didn't yeah. happen. It was a waste. Yeah. We murdered the elephant for nothing, Jack. <laughs> it's a, to give you a little bit more premise, if you didn't see the trailer, um, the, what happens is in, in the game, uh, the parents are kind of like had enough of one another. And we've all witnessed this. I, I know for me, I've come home. I come home. I've come from a broken home. I have not come home. Right. I've come from a broken yep. home. And I I know what it's like for the child. The child is blaming themselves for the breakup, the arguing. And little do they know, um, it's not about the child. It's just that both parents are not seeing eye to eye anymore. And they kind of lost the flame is what the book of love says. And they're trying to like find that love again. And... You know, there are there are moments in there that kind of gave me flashbacks as a child. Uh, if anyone's ever been in that situation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you see Mrs. Doubtfire, you probably cried a million times. And not that the game made me kind of like tear jerk, but it made me realize like, it, it's crazy. I'm 33 now. And I, I always knew, even when I was a child that went through therapy and all that stuff, it, it never really was the child's fault. But it, as you grow up, you kind of feel like maybe I could have done something to bring them back together. Right. And that's what this child does. She wishes for them to come together. And as she's crying, the tears falls on these toys that she kind of made of her parents. Magical tears, baby. And now <laughs> you are the toys and you have to find your way out, you know, quote unquote, um, and, and break that spell so that way you can come back, your spirits can come back to that human body. And that's what this game is all about. And you're just going through things to work together. And the story is more than just two of us playing. It's like, you know, a, a, of a bond that was one loss, once lost. And they kind of like reminisce on different things that they went to when they were younger and stuff like that. I think the, the story itself doesn't get enough love more than the game because the game is so good. What do you think right. about the story? So the story, I mean, I grew up in a broken home as well. My parents are actually divorced. So... It resonates a lot as far as the story goes. Like, the story is deep. Regardless of the gameplay being super fun and having all this funny stuff going around, all the background stuff that was happening that we kind of peeped. I mean, because we're grown, so, like, we've seen this kind of stuff. So all the stuff that was going on in the background, we could make jokes about it, but it's a real-life thing. So I I enjoyed this story because it made sense as the kid was like, you know, I want my parents to get back together. Maybe it's my fault type of stuff, take the blame, cry about it, all this kind of stuff. See, I can resonate with that. So it made sense. It also has a, like, you know, when you think about it, I always say this. I say a lot of people that grew up in broken homes either have that or the other, uh, uh, I call it divorced parent syndrome. Okay. Where they, 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 um, 
instead of focusing on being the issue with the parents, they take it on themselves. Like, oh, I don't want to be like that. And um, I'm never going to get divorced. So they take every relationship and make it like it's a marriage off rip, whether it's that serious or not. You yeah, know? yeah. So that the story taps into a lot of like emotions, whether you can relate to it or not. I mean, just watching the story unfold in front of you, it's 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 phenomenal. They did a great job of telling the story and adding all the fun elements and gameplay in it. It's the developers did their thing, man. I would say uh for me, just to piggyback on what you say, I think if the story was any different, I don't think it takes away from the gameplay. They could have made it something completely oh. different. But because of that, and because it's relatable to both you and I, it just, I guess it just hits harder. And that's why right. we we both feel that this is one of the best games. I know for me, it's probably the most fun I've ever had in a video game in a very long time. Like, the yep. most yep. fun. Um, As far as game of the year, this hands down, I know we're in just April, and we got Resident Evil coming out next month. And a couple other games. Show, yeah, Should like if God of War comes out at the end of the year, maybe. I know that there's a lot of other big third party games coming out this year. I just feel like there's gonna be a, a they're gonna have to do a lot to 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 really get to this game. And this is not a big developer game, although EA is a big developer, but it's not it's not your Call of Duties or well, yeah, you know, Last it's, of Us. It's not um even though it's EA, I think EA is like the distributor mostly. Okay. The developer isn't really like the team behind it. Oh, you're really probably like right. A, yeah. Or a huge team. It's yeah. just it's a smaller team yeah. in a little sector of EA doing their, <laughs> you know, doing their thing. No, I, you, and the thing is, because it's not such a big studio, I feel they they deserve all the praise and i will look forward to any game that comes out from them moving forward i know i can't wait to try a way out uh i know that for me this game here will always remind me of like a time where it it triggered points of my heart and my mind no the game has ever done that because i don't think this topic is really touched on uh when it comes to video games and they do it in a fun way where it's not so much right. dramatic, there's not a lot of tears, there's a lot of fun involved. You kind of forget the story in a way. And it's only towards the end where it gets really dramatic. It's like maybe a 10-minute cinematic, and then you start, like, the music kicks in, and you're like, like, damn, we did all this. Man, that music that music uh, ending was great, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, getting to that point was awesome, the whole... Was that your favorite one part? Thing that... It might have been. Mm. It's up there. There's so there's things. There's so much good stuff in this game <laughs> that I gotta go back and rewatch every vod that I mm. that we put out. For yeah, because you were supposed parts. to put out some clips, man. I'm gonna get them all. Oh, he's but a part time streamer, like, so give him some time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. But um, no, man, the music one, like the way they tied it into like going from his passion to her passion. Yeah, you know, from yeah. the whole garden thing to the whole it. It was execution on point and then the, the making it fun thing was that every single mission they would switch up our powers we would have something different yeah to uh to work together and it, it was it was the whole i can't do it without you i need you here kind of thing so even though i was booking it on you yeah. most of the time <laughs> like yo hurry i would up. have to sit there and be like yo i need you bro I need you, man. <laughs> like yo give me a second i'm coming man yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite level was the one, and, and it's a whole bunch of stuff, but I, I don't remember the actual name, is where we get the fidget spinners, where we get uh the, where I get, what is it, like ice, and you have a sword, and it's like an overview, you kind of oh, like playing Diablo. Yes, yeah. I know exactly what's going on. That Yo, was the one right before the elephant, the, the magic yes, castle. Yes, 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 yes. Yo, that to me was my favorite. I love the music because, you know, I played music for a long time. I, you know, I made beats and DJ and, and Chris is a rapper. So like a lot of the stuff, it, you know, it resonates with us. Like we, I think we were the perfect two people to play this game because it's so relatable to us and, and, and our right. likes and stuff. Uh, I would say for me, yes, that, that part there, I love the music because it was so dope. I wish they gave us an opportunity to like make music there. Like you can, but it wasn't enough for us to like make a beat or something. It was right, like it wasn't you, like super intricate into, yeah. the, into the thing because they were like they, they were like drum machines it, and and stuff like that. But it, it wasn't too much. But I think the end when towards the end of that level where you're doing kind of like Guitar Hero when you're doing like X circle square like that was fun. <laughs> 
The game is so fun. I could talk to you about each level in detail, but it's so much fun. What, what do you think for you? What was your favorite? Besides you thinking that maybe the music one, what is another level you think was probably your favorite? Man, probably the tree one. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, the tree one with the hornet, right? The, the tree robin, one robot. with the hornets. Yeah. The the jellyfish underneath. Oh, the, that you was started hot. flying a Yo, little bit. And you, you couldn't aim me. You're saying move to the left when I should be going oh, to the I, middle. <laughs> 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 that <Yeah>. whole sequence <laughs> of climbing the tree, climbing the tree, getting into the tree, meeting the, yeah. the squirrel, um, the, the general with the perfect voice, um, and the scar on him and everything, and then fighting the, the wasp, and then finding out that there was a bumblebee inside of the... the <laughs> Yo, and they, they were going to beat that bee up. <laughs> that <face>. Right. <laughs> And then escaping and doing the Street Fighter thing, and finally getting into the house. Yeah, yeah. That whole sequence there, that might have been my favorite of, of the whole game overall. What like, do you think was your least like, favorite? Least favorite? Oh, they're all good. They're all good, but there has to they're be all one. Good. I would say the garden one. I was just going to say that one. I was just going to say that one. Yeah, the garden one, I didn't it, like too much. It was trash. Yeah. Um, but I felt like it was longer than the rest of them. One, yeah, and I think it dragged out, and it that's what it was. It dragged out, yeah, it wasn't really um too much different things that you can do. It was more just me filling up the, the little flower's mouth and then you opening up the thing so I could kill the root of the, yeah. the poison, and that was it. And, and I don't like bugs either, so over. right, I you know, so could, that was probably my least mm. favorite. Of the of the entire story, but overall, I mean, if that's the least favorite, shoot. Yeah, no. I was I was still having fun during it, but it was just <laughs> like, you know, overall, that was my least favorite. Yeah, I think I think for me, it was my least favorite one because I don't like bugs and and I hate insects. It's funny because my favorite I, character I, is Spider Man. I was calling them ugly. <laughs> it's like my favorite character is Spider Man, but I hate spiders, and it's just yeah, he he thought it looked cute. I think it was ugly, and then like the webbing and. The, the sound, oh, it was just nasty, bro. It was just nasty. And I, I do think it dragged out a little bit. The, 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 how do you say, like the puzzles weren't as in depth. It was just like more straightforward. Um, and then even like killing the plants and stuff like that and rate and, you know, like uh, guarding and stuff, it, it, it dragged on to me. But all, other than that, I thought the game was still incredible. If you take that part out, I still think the game is incredible. All right. Even with that part, like you becoming a cactus and shooting the stuff at people was kind <laughs> that of That was cool. one of my first like parts. It had, cool, it had cool elements in that part, even though it was the, our least favorite. Yeah, you yeah. Know, but it's just it's a good game, man. Do you think, well, the, I, I don't think it'll be a part two, but do you think if another game like this is made, will it have the same success? I feel like I haven't played A Way Out. A Way Out. I know you played it, and they're two separate games, and I, I, I have a feeling that after this... It, they will continue to make games like this. Do you see if they'll make another one? I trust the developers because that they're two for two right now. Okay. okay. The people that made these games a way out and this are phenomenal games. Different, mm. similar in the co-op experience where yeah. you literally have to work together with somebody else. Um good stories on both. Okay. Uh this one was more of a fun experience. A way out is more of an anxiety experience, if oh, I can man. say it. Like a, like a so I, I think what they go for is they give it like a movie feel to it. Okay. You know what I mean? So like in a way out, they came with the story of two prisoners getting out of jail and figuring out life on the run type of stuff. Mm. So even though you're playing a game, you feel like you're in a movie. Same thing with this one where there's times, even though they, it's not even that much cutscenes in this game, hmm. believe it or not. Like, you would think there would be a lot, but yeah. there really isn't. Hey, we got a mission. We finished the mission. Two minutes of the book telling us what to do next. On to the next mission, right? The, the longest cutscenes were at the end. Of course, they had to, you know, they had to get the cinema feel of it. Yeah, with yeah. The whole, you know, <laughs> extra dramatic stuff, which is fine. But they're great with like telling the story in a fun way, but making it still movie esque where you feel connected to the characters, mm. regardless. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna keep going and just picking new type of stories that can become movies, but still feel like a game at the same time. So I don't know how they're gonna top something like this, mm. 
But I, I trust them enough where if they come out with another game, uh, hey, you have my money. You have yeah. my money twice. You got it. I, and you know. I, I think what makes it even more appealing is the fact that you can do this with someone else and that other person is free. So, you know, if another game was to come out like this, you can split the price with your friend. Where if it's right. like 40 bucks, you each pay 20 for an, a great, amazing experience uh, for a couple of hours. This uh, Again, we did this in about 12 hours. Um, I don't know how long a way out was, but I think if they do probably another game, not. what you say? It's probably similar. If, if they, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if they do another thing like this, I for sure, I'm going to be like, yo, Chris, let's do this again. We'll split the cost. I mean, you lured me in because you said it was fresh. like, fine, I'll try it. But yeah. next time, yo, I'm we go in half. We're going to be getting it in there. And uh, it, it was fun, man. I appreciate you even inviting me. If, if, if I didn't play this game, I probably would never watched it uh, because I had no interest. But I'm so glad you did. And I want to thank you for being on the second episode of this podcast, man. Uh, is there anything that you want to say before we go? Oh, I will say this about the game. I recommend if you have a significant other, play this with them. Yeah. This is a good yeah, game. This right. would be a fun game to play with your significant other. Um, It has a lot of relationship stuff in it, so it can be a little cute thing for you and your significant other to play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, me and Lou are not a couple. We're just no. good friends. Yeah. But it worked for us because it was just a... It was yeah. a good game to stream and put out there for content and yeah. all this good stuff. And we <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed the game. But i that's one thing I do want to say about this. Yeah, Play that, it with your snippet. It's a good I, time. I think, yeah, I think <laughs> it's funny you say that because when I was, showing, I was showing my wife, like, some of the VODs, she's like, oh, I want to play. That, that seems cool. And she doesn't know anything about games. And I can see myself just getting frustrated with her. Like, bro, you're supposed <laughs> to jump. You're supposed to jump. <laughs> And they're like, you know, I don't want to play this game with you. I I can see that happening. <laughs> so, for me, it probably wouldn't work out. But for other people, I would like to see how they do. Oh, man. But yeah, Dude. thanks again, Chris. I appreciated the time. I appreciated, uh, you know, allowing me to be a part of the stream. Check it out. Uh, give them your Twitch uh, information so they can watch the VODs. And so they can watch where uh, you're... TV, well, twitch.tv slash Mayamo CG. Think of Spanish, Mayamo, <laughs> my name. And then CG is spelled C E E G E E. Well, why did you make uh, the name so complicated? You ever thought about that? So here's the thing, right? <laughs> I've always been CG. So, like, even before. But your rap this, name is Chris Anthony. So I, I'm confused. I, 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 this stuff has always been CG. I like to separate the gaming from the music because it's not the same thing. You know, so I've always been CG. I started off with CG, then it was Sleepy CG, and then me and my friend started the Mayamo Club. So now it's Mayamo CG. All right, there you go. Now you got the background of, of the name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Uh, new updates too. We're gonna be posting a new episode of Key Gaming Podcast every Monday. Be on the lookout for that. We're also gonna be doing some reactions. Uh, soon you're gonna see the reaction for the new Resident Evil trailer part two. So look. Take a look. Uh, boom. Um, some of my words. Wait. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> Don't be laughing, Chris. Be on the lookout for the reaction of Resident Evil 8 Village. It's going to be coming out soon. But every Monday, you can either watch us on YouTube or you can hear us where we get your podcasts. Just type in Keep Gaming Podcast and we are there. Thank you all for being here. Until next time, keep gaming. Peace.